Behind the blood and the bruises, a woman claims the Naples Police Department used excessive force. Tonight, an internal affairs investigation is underway while the officers involved remain on duty. New at 11, NBC2's Paul Gessler talks with the alleged victim who is now hiring a lawyer. Cherise Castell is emotional. Seeing pictures of herself from July, Naples police were called to her home because her family feared she was suicidal. According to the incident report, 44-year-old Castell became combative. When an officer turned her head, Castell says his hands were in her mouth, so she bit down. Moments later, she was on the ground bleeding. This was the pool of blood. The blood stain remains in her parking lot nearly four months later. NBC2 obtained exclusive police communications from that Thursday morning, where Castell is heard screaming. We have your subject sister on the phone from France. She'd like to speak to one of you. Oh, for uh, tell her right now it's not a good time. We'll get with her at a later date. Just remember being on the floor, just begging them to stop. Castell suffered a broken nose. And they weren't because they were having fun. The police report indicated her injuries were, quote, superficial. Meanwhile, Officer Robert McGregor also received medical attention with cuts to his hand. Naples Police Chief Tom Weschler says the three officers involved will remain on duty through an internal affairs investigation. These officers, it's not in their nature, but again, I'm going to let the investigation speak for itself. He says all three had been trained on dealing with suicidal people. Uh, we are very transparent. When, when the officers are right, we'll defend them. When they're not, we'll hold them accountable. The investigation has been given top priority and will be finished within 180 days. In Naples, Paul Gessler, NBC2.